folks. Uh, this just came in. Tesla officially pauses Giga Mexico project over a potential Trump win. Check it out. It came down from uh, Electra. Uh, Fred Lambert's the reporter. He reports a lot on uh, EV stuff like that. And Tesla it says Tesla has officially paused its Giga <coughs> Giga Factory Mexico project over a potential Trump election, which would greatly reduce the factory's profitability. Tesla has officially announced Giga Factory Mexico back in March 2020, 2023, and recently we were wondering what was the holdup to start production, and the automaker said it wanted to move fast. And so. Elon Musk said that the project would happen and Tesla's ordering long lead items for it, but the timing would depend on how the economy recovers. In the meantime, the automaker prefers investing in Texas. And let's see here. Musk has previously stated that he believes Trump will win the United States election and is even fully endorsing him and contributing financially to his campaign. Uh, but he did say, um, that the former president and current Republican candidate Donald Trump has clearly stated that he plans to put tariffs on vehicles built in Mexico and coming into the U.S. This will greatly reduce the profitability of a plant in Mexico for Tesla. So, uh, basically, he's putting the frenos, putting the brakes on it. Um, I think he's saying all the chingada, come this little guy. You know, I, um, I'm not here to bash Elon. I think he's done some great things. I think he's still going to do a lot of great things. Uh, highly intelligent. He's got SpaceX. Maybe bring it to Texas and X. I mean, I, you know, I'm all for that. Um, and uh, let's watch this little clip of the Mexican news real quick. Este martes el consejero delegado de Tesla, Elon Musk, anunció que la inversión de la compañía en México está paralizada al menos hasta que se celebren las elecciones presidenciales. Esta puede ser la historia del día y tiene que ver también con México, Estados Unidos, con Donald Trump. Hoy el empresario, dicen que es el empresario más rico, el hombre más rico del mundo, Elon Musk, dio a conocer en una conferencia con inversionistas y analistas que por lo pronto pospone la anunciadísima construcción de la fábrica de Tesla que se iba a instalar o que quizá algún día se instalara. Right, yeah, so it's been reported. Um, but here's the thing, here's the thing, folks. I'm gonna tell you the reason he's pumping the brakes down there, okay? It's not because of Trump or anything else like that. Why would it be? Monterey, they said, the Santa Catarina plant, Gigafactory in Mexico, Nueva León, was gonna be making cars for South America and that the cheap EV would be up in Austin. And that's the case, then it wouldn't matter who's president of the United States. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you three letters, the reason he's probably not going forward with Giga, Giga Factory in the way alone. <clears throat> it's BYD. I mean, he sees it on the wall. I really don't think he, I don't think Elon really wants to be an automaker, to tell you the truth. Um, I think he's more into software and stuff like that and that's coming up from their mega computer. But <clears throat> BYD is a juggernaut. They are in they are in Mexico now. Got their grips on it. <laughs> they had great pricing from luxury to to the affordable to an eleven thousand dollar affordable car. Now, BYD officials, I know you're in Monterey looking around. Let, let me tell you about this site in Monterey, in Santa Catarina, okay? I was the first YouTuber to go down there. I'm gonna show you a clip real quick. Watch this clip. Right, where's the fabrica? Down this side of the fabrica. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Listen, this high? Oh, and this high? Oh, it's over there, baby. For sure. Which is understandable. And they wouldn't, they didn't tell us anything. They couldn't tell us anything. They don't know anything. We just want to see where the, where the factory is going to be built. And then we're leaving. We're going to, we get back in the car and, and the Petrolia de Garcia is another little town here. The, we think they called them and they uh, pulled us over, asked us a bunch of questions. Fernando showed him his ID. I showed him my passport, my wife's ID. They asked us a bunch of questions. And then they told us to leave, so which we did. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so we almost got detained while we were down there. We had the police, I can't remember, uh, not Santa Catarina, but maybe it was from Santa Fe. I can't remember the little town. And they came out machine guns drawn. All right, we had our hands up in the air. We did nothing wrong. You know, we're out there looking around. But, and that's fine. I spent some money on that little trip, but it was a good time. Me and my friend, uh, <clears throat> Fernando, and my wife. Um, but here's the deal, BYD. If you're thinking about looking at that site, you got some major water issues, um, ecological issues, okay? There's so much traffic there. There's non-stop 18-wheelers. I'm talking, I talking non I mean non-stop, okay? And all it takes is one mess up on that highway, construction-wise, a big piece of concrete falls or whatever happens, and you're gonna have a lot of mad people, okay? And that traffic there and those trucks, yeah, it's from businesses. Mm, also from other entities and you don't want to you mess up that that flow and it's not gonna be good it's a lot it's a big vast area before you make a decision BYD officials let me get my pitch in let me pitch Reynosa Reynosa Mexico right next to the border you can work something out with Trump if he becomes president he probably will be it looks like it. We'll see. Reynosa, right over the border. You got Matamoros right down the road. Okay. It's two and a half hours. Everybody says Monterey to the border is two and a half hours. I guarantee it's more than that. You got all kinds of stops along the way. Uh, things can happen. Okay. But you got parts right off the road in Monterey come right down Reynosa. So. Just let me prepare a nice little proposal. A lot of folks don't know BYD. It's also into other things like monorail. Build a monorail from Reynosa up to San Antonio. Straight up 281. Pay off the ranchers along the way with the land. Beautiful monorail right up the road. Have a special one made that has the cargo. BYD is an uh, um, expert in this and also desalination of the water. We got a major water problem in Reynosa. The Rio Plex is what they call it now. It's like that whole south area of Texas could help out with that. Build a pipe system all the way to the Gulf. Pump in good, clean, fresh water. Desalination. desalination. All right. People worry about security. Hell, I'm worried about security everywhere. I feel safe for Mexico, to tell you the truth. Guarantee you open a plant down in Reynosa, they're gonna take care of you. They're gonna they're gonna protect your protect your investment. Let me get the numbers together, let me get a proposal together before you make a decision. I know that you're in Monterey right now, BYD officials. Let's just wait and see what happens. Alright. Now 
if Trump did say at the RNC convention uh, that he would rather the plant, Chinese plants, if there's going to be any to be built in the United States, if that's the case, I would recommend McAllen, Texas. Okay? It's going to give you the best of both worlds. It'll be right there on the border of Mexico. Bring in the parts. Right down the road's Brownsville. You can ship them out. You got the whole United States right up the road. Okay? I really think McAllen's the best bet. Austin, Texas. It's expensive. Your workers struggle to pay rent there. McAllen. You got a lot of folks. Educated folks looking for jobs. Good paying jobs. Be right there. The question is, we need to run the numbers. You know, can a BYD plant in Texas pump out the $11,000 car, a $50,000 truck, you know, $30,000 uh, EV? You know, can't happen. I don't know. It, it would have to seriously look at the numbers. But at least he's open to that, you know. But again, Reynosa. If you want to do Mexico, if not, if you want to go ahead and go to the United States, McAllen, Texas, just like to put a proposal together. That's all I'm asking. All right? Thank you. Okay, so we tried to go look, we tried to find the, uh, the Rancho Carvajal. And anyway, we'll forget it. Yep. We had a little run in with the patrol yet. Yeah. Well, no mas. Viva Monterrey, Viva Norteño, Viva Tejas, Arriba, Arriba, Abajo, Centro, Centro. Yeah.